people by the hour, right? So welcome this morning to the dedication of our new South Coast Health Van. If I were to sum up the mission of South Coast in just a few words, whether somebody is in need of life-saving intervention or just information about how to improve their overall health status, South Coast is here to serve the community. And this is a partnership that reaches beyond just the barriers of the four walls of, of our hospitals. It extends into all segments of the cities and the towns that we serve. Our health van helps us fulfill the mission of bringing services to patients in a very unique way. And it's with great pride that today we'll dedicate our second health van that will allow us to expand our reach into the communities that we serve. I need to recognize the important work that has been done by our first van that has long accomplished the mission of bringing healthcare services to our communities as well as serving as a, a site for the collection of blood. So it's been a, a blood donor van as well as being a health promotion van. So as we commission our new van today, our, our, our older van will become a blood donor van exclusively. And as we enter this, this new era of healthcare reform, South Coast will begin to assume more and more of the primary responsibility of providing healthcare services to a region an ethnically and economically diverse region that faces huge challenges that impact the lives of people living here. A region where a predictor of your health status could be the place in which you live. It's, this, this health van is a mechanism for us to bring services to communities that are otherwise underserved. Our health, can, our health van will be bringing health services to neighborhoods, schools, churches, just about anywhere you could possibly envision. It will help us make new connections, expanded connections with the communities that we serve, serving all segments of those communities, from students who are still just in the very beginning phases of developing good health habits, hopefully making them healthy adults, to residents who are struggling with homelessness, hunger, chronic disease, some of the most vulnerable here among us. All of them have a right to good health care, and our health van will help make that possible. I'd like to introduce to you Maureen Sylvia Armstrong, a member of the South Coast Health System Board of Trustees and the chairperson of our South Coast Community Benefits Committee, to talk a little bit about the van. Maureen? Thank you, Jason, for uh, getting the kids out of the, the microphone. As chair of South Coast Community Benefits Committee, I have the responsibility and also the great pleasure of overseeing our community outreach and community benefits program. I'm very proud that last year alone, our not-for-profit hospital system invested over $12 million in community services, programs, and direct care that, as Keith noted, help improve health for all of our residents. All of our community benefits programs are important, but our South Coast Health Plan is often the face of our outreach and education that helps area residents prevent illness and improve access to needed health services. In 2011 alone, our event provided over 7,500 health screenings and education to thousands of area residents. We expect this number to increase dramatically as we are able to expand outreach with our new health plan. Collaboration is key to our community benefits efforts and the South Coast Health Plan strengthens not only our services, but those of our community partners. Our van is a regular presence at familiar spaces like local community health centers, and housing projects, councils on aging, and the Immigrants Assistance Center, the YMCA, and the YWCA. We strive to make a difference in the health of families and individuals everywhere in our communities. Our van helps us accomplish this each and every day. I'd now like to introduce Renee Clark, Vice President for Medical Services at South Coast, who oversees the vital medical services on our new South Coast Health Band. As we all share a sense of excitement that this role will expand with our second health band. It will be devoted to health screenings and outreach, particularly for underserved residents here on the South Coast. I also want to take this 
opportunity to pay tribute to our very dedicated band staff. While our band is often the face of our community outreach, our staff touch residents in ways that improve health and often change their lives. For many of the staff, from the drivers to the nurses to the clerical support, the health band mission has become their own professional mission. In fact, several of them have spent the lives of the band for over 25 years. I know that they all get great satisfaction each day from, help, from helping residents better their, manage their chronic disease and get the education that they need to stay healthy. Our team are expert in promoting good health and caring for our communities in ways that are just as important as what we do here inside our hospital and in our outreach facilities. We take this opportunity today to celebrate our new South Coast Health Band and to salute the staff who make each day our presence in the community both valued and appreciated. I'd like to invite John Dator to come up and, uh, and join us here. Um, for many years, we've had discussions about how great would it be to have a, a second band? How great would it be to be able to extend the reach of South Coast further into the communities to be able to provide additional services, to be able to dedicate one band just to blood collection, and that day is here. So it's time to cut the rip. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm so happy you're ready to see you. 